For years, scientists have debated how big a role elephants play in toppling trees in South African savannas. Tree loss is a natural process, but it's increasing in some regions with cascading effects on the habitat for many other species. Using high-resolution 3D mapping aboard the fixed-wing aircraft called the Carnegie Airborne Observatory, Carnegie scientists have for the first time quantitatively determined tree losses across savannas of Kruger National Park. The technology used for monitoring trees is light detection and ranging, or LIDAR. It provides detailed 3D images of the vegetation canopy at tree level resolution using laser pulses that sweep across the African savanna. The CAO's lasers can detect even small changes in each tree's height, and its vast coverage is far superior to previous field-based and aerial photographic evaluations. The scientists found that elephants are the primary agents of tree loss, knocking trees over at a rate averaging six times higher than in areas inaccessible to them. Elephants prefer toppling trees in the 16 to 30 foot or 5 to 8 meter range with annual losses of up to 20 percent in these height classes. The scientists considered an array of environmental variables spread over four study landscapes within Kruger and in very large areas fenced off to prevent herbivore entry. For years, four of these exclosures have kept out all herbivores larger than a rabbit. Two other partial enclosures have permitted entry of herbivores other than elephants. They found that nearly 9% of the trees decreased in height in two years, and that the map changes in tree fall were linked to different climate and terrain conditions. Most tree losses occurred in lowland areas with more moisture and on soils high in nutrients that harbor trees preferred by elephants for browsing. Critically, the partial exclosures definitively identified elephants, as opposed to other herbivores and fire, as the major agent of tree losses over the two-year period. Conservation area managers must know where and how their decisions impact ecosystem health and biodiversity. They should rely on rigorous science to evaluate alternative scenarios and management options, and the CAO helps provide the necessary quantification. The findings were published in Ecology Letters. The Carnegie Institution has had over 110 years of extraordinary discoveries. To continue this tradition, Carnegie scientists need your support. For more information about this and other cool science, visit our website at carnegiescience.edu. This is John Strom.